Joe. Good evening, everybody. Glad you made the decision to be with us. Little get to know you here in the opening round scheduled for 10. He missed with that headshot. Johnson's advantage is in the speed category. He's a mover. He's an elusive target. Well, his opponent has one advantage. One thing that can take that speed away, that is timing. He better understand that. Good block. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Mike Tyson. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. That worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Rick Johnson's jam by an uppercut. Tyson's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. And now he's acting like a fighter, coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Johnson's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Miss the body shot. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. And yet another right hand lands. <laughs> Digging in with a left to the gut. Good fighting, snapping shot by Mike Tyson. End of the round here as we're ringside at our fight night venue. Of course, we're on the road with you every step of the way with a fine crew. We got to give credit to the crew there. Robbie and Rick back in the production truck doing a nice job all cramped up in a tractor trailer. Yeah, they do a great job. They allow us to go on the air and uh, allow us to... Do the fun part while they're doing the grunt work. They're doing all the difficult things back there. Of course, Mike, Brian, all those guys. We appreciate you very much, and um, we're not taking you out to dinner tonight. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Mike Tyson. Johnson's doing well here with that two-punch combination. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Great work offensively landing that combination by Mike Tyson. Teddy, I've heard you say it a million times early on in a fight. If there's any one piece of good advice you can give, it's start depositing it into that bank. Go to the body. Yeah, because the interest comes later, and you're going to see the payoff in the late rounds. Blocks that punch. Johnson's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Johnson's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. And Tyson with a block punch. Wow, look at that, trading shots. End of the round here. And as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was. And you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. Really brought it that time, a four-punch combination.
Tyson's quickly taking control of this fight early on with one single weapon of choice, and that is the jab. Yeah, the jab and the jab at the right time. He's catching his opponent every time he starts coming in before he can get started. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Johnson's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. That was a miss by Johnson. Commits to the straight right. To the belt line he goes with a left hand. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man. Wow! Well, we've seen Mike Tyson in a spot like this before. Remember, he once rose up off the canvas against Buster Douglas, only to be floored again. Can he do it here? One, two, three. So many people point to the downfall of Mike Tyson, but few remember how he would get up off the canvas time and time again in some of those toughest fights. Able to cover up that gut. What an excellent two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Tyson's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Left to the body. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Well, we heard his analysis, but as for how Teddy has scored those first three rounds, here's a look. Mike Tyson's coming out here after being knocked down in the previous round. How important is it for him to be cautious here, to make sure that he does have his legs underneath him? You know, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword there, Joe, because if you're too cautious, hey, your opponent, he reads it. You're not in that ring alone, you know, and then he's going to get more aggressive. So you want to go out there, maybe paint him a little bit. Let him think you're okay. Let him think you want to go after him. Let him think you want to engage a little bit and then wind up boxing, staying on the outside, buying some time. Now he goes to the gut with a right hand. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging up. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. And bang, and away he goes. How much more can Tyson take? Not the first time this has happened tonight. One, two, three. Tyson's gonna have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's gotta do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the rope, kill some time, make the referee come in between you and break you. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Blocks that blow and then a counter uppercut. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Wow, he backs up the combination. Landed all four of them. Johnson's gathering himself now after scoring a knockdown in that last round. If you were his trainer, what would you be pumping into his head? Well, I would say, you know what? He hasn't recovered. He hasn't had enough time to completely recover. Listen, be responsible defensively. Don't get reckless, but stay on him. Do not let him recover. Left hand came after the jab. Iron 
Ward's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Crash is home with the uppercut. That hook was well off the mark. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Blocks that punch. Johnson's got a great sense of when and how to throw the uppercut. How do you coach a guy up on the uppercut? What do you tell him? Well, first of all, you don't want it to become a dangerous punch for you. You don't want to drop your hands and throw it. You want to make sure that you drop that shoulder a little bit and you don't give up defense for offense. Uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Meldrick Johnson. Nice crisp one-two combination by Mike Tyson. That's a nice left hand from Mike Tyson. He returns the favor with an uppercut. Tyson's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Well, can the big, bad bully deal with blood? He's been cut. And he's cut many people before where he said, oh, when I cut guys, I saw that they started becoming less of a man right in front of me. I saw them start disappearing as men. Right now, we're going to find out how he behaves. I wonder if those words are echoing back in his ears. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Tyson's thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away. So as you said, those punches, you know, aren't going to force their way through to the target, which they're doing right now. They're getting down to him. They're getting through to him. Yeah. Iron Mike with an iron right. A striking combination by Mike Tyson. Johnson's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Halfway through round six. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Meldrick Johnson. Good, solid right hand land. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got floored. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this.